friends, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to share with you this um, folio that I have created. Um, I followed a, t a tutorial by Frances Long. She has her own website full of tutorials. Um, and that website is Your Book of Memories. And she's here on YouTube as well as Instagram as Your Book of Memories. And I will include the link to her website. Um, you will be amazed at how many different um, tutorials she has, how many classes. Um, you do need to pay for the classes, but let me just tell you, it is so worth it, so worth it. Um, this particular one is um, Clutch Folio. Yeah, Clutch Folio, I believe. Um, so I have chosen Spring Market by Cartabella. That's the paper line I've chosen. And this is created, I have created this for Tamara, um, Urban Forger 1973. We have been swapping uh, for over two years. Um, the first year we swapped every month and, and then last year, just, you know, sporadically here and there, usually every other month. Um, so this is our first project of 2023. I don't remember what year it was. Um, and I just am absolutely in love with this folio. Um, and I will be making more. Uh, so I just used um, scrapbook paper um, from the kit. Um, this I, I created myself. This is a sticker from the kit. And that's just like a, a little ruffle rosette that I stuck there, I stuck on there. Um, and then as you can see, it's kind of like an envelope shape um, closure, and it's magnetized. And uh, Tamara's favorite color is pink, so I just, I just hope that she loves this um, as folio as much as I have just, I have enjoyed making it for her. So let's open it this way. So, you know. Generally, when you open a, a book, it, it goes this way, but this one actually goes this way. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of get down just a little bit lower, just so you can see all of the fun detail. Um, so right down here is a waterfall um, for photos and journaling, etc., etc., and it's magnetized, and here is a pocket. Um, all of the pockets that are integrated into the folio have this really fun shape. Um, if you can't see it, I'll, I'll be sure and show you up a little bit closer. But I just created, you know, I just decorated cards with paper and um, some fun wood paper, um, wood paper that I have and stickers from the kit. Um, I just absolutely love this kit and I've been saving it for a very special project for <laughs> for a year um, and I just I just felt like this would be the perfect project for it and I believe that it has it has served its purpose well um, so here's just some fun uh, just a fun photo frame I actually sealed this one up because I loved this um, cut apart as just kind of like a art art artwork <laughs> and the same with this down here I'll show you that in a second um, this is just a belly band with some cut aparts and then we'll scoot up and show you this part here sorry about the glare we have acetate in in the frames just just decorated um, this um, this pockets kind of fun it's actually you know the full width of of the folio and you just slide these right on in and I've everything is matted with black and then and then the scrapbook paper or um, this wood paper down here um, let me show you that side so that's just a tag shape and this is just you know very simple all the paper and and another tag there that just slides right in there and she can put photos and whatever she doesn't have to keep these in here um, if she doesn't want to and then that's the other side of that pocket and then here we have another um, photo frame and this is actually open on both sides let me see if I can slide this in here to show you 
I know it is. Here we go. Oh my goodness, let me go on this side. <gasps> I know what's open. I promise. There we go. See, it's open on both sides. <laughs> in case she wants to slide it in from this side or this side, it's totally up to her. So, and then we have this fun little pocket. Um, this actually originally had uh, like a flap on it, but I took, I just chopped that off and so I could slide in this long uh, bookmark type thing and she can use that as a bookmark if she would like or keep it in here and utilize it in this fol folio. Um, now this, um, let me push this down far enough. This little pocket I'm kind of proud of, it kind of, it mimics, not kind of, it mimics the shape of the closure, the envelope style closure. And then I just kind of matted it on black and there's some of that wood paper. And this pocket in the back goes all the way across. Make sure these get down so they don't get smushed. And the, this is a pocket in the front that just is small. So just just right there on the side. And there's some little tags from the collection. Okay, and then here's an, a fun um, pocket. I, instead of just leaving um, the matted, um, the matted paper, I, I did a lot of pockets or belly bands so that it could hold hold stuff without being glued down. So that's kind of what what this is representing. And she doesn't have to keep the cut aparts there. It's just it's just mainly for so she knows that it's a pocket. Um but anyway, so and then this thing is this one is kind of fun. This this is an envelope, like a policy envelope, and it pops open and then I created this little pull out and I just wanted to create a little pocket um, for photos but I didn't want um, so I just have just some cut aparts here but she can put photos or whatever she wants to um, I didn't want to like dig in because you know there's a lot of it's, it's not really space spacious you know to get stuff out so I thought well if I put this in here and there's some paper in the back too so if I stick this in here um, and put a tab then she knows that she can pull it out and she can put pictures or whatever she wants in that and I've just closed this with um, like a real policy envelope if I can get that to wrap around um, with some string and these are just little button brads um, and just another frame and this one is open so she can put a picture in there if she'd like another pocket um, let me slide this down here, <laughs> kind of go back and forth. Um, oh, sorry, we're stuck. Um, this page I really like. This is just a belly band. You know, she can put picture a picture in there, pictures here, whatever, journaling. Um, I kind of like this paper because it's lined, and she can use it to journal on and kind of give her um, marks for writing. But I just, I just love the stickers and the paper. Just they just all. Are, they just go together so well and so this side if you can see is just the the opposite of this side so the big piece was over here and then it moved um, over to the side just some stickers and another belly band um, this is probably my favorite part of the journal just because I love the imagery so this is um, magnetized and it's just you know almost the width full width of the folio, but it opens up and reveals this adorable paper. I just love this paper. I mean, just look at that. It just, it was calling out to be placed right here in this spot. Um, and then this, of course, you can put pictures or whatever, but I just absolutely love that. And then let me show you up close the pocket. So the pockets that are, that are um, glued into the folio all have this shape. I just, I love making that shape. That's made with um, an envelope punch board. And this is the the card tag, whatever you'd like to call it, that just slides in right there. And then this is another pocket, and this one's just really simple. Um, 
this with some some of the paper from the collection right there. Um, one of the things that I did um, for my journal because I used um, cream colored uh, cardstock for the base of my journal or folio, so I covered it with um, the paper with pink paper from the collection, um, and I just think that just it just adds some some more interest um, but let me just flip through this again so you can see all the fun pages and this journal was so much fun to put together I keep saying journal folio but I just I think I'm hooked I think I think I'm going to be making a lot more folios Francis <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch every single one of your um, tutorials um, but see and then here's that paper again I just covered up the the obvious spots you know with with some pink florals and then it closes up nice and cute and it's off to Tamara uh, thanks for stopping by friends and I do invite you to visit Francis's um, website again I'll put the link below and You'll love it. Her tutorials are so calming and I, I say that they're so zen because they, they really are. So thank you so much for stopping by and have a great day.